Hey everyone, it's Lorenzo and welcome to 2 Minute Tips on Hacking Leadership Podcast. Today's 2 Minute Tip is brought to you by Terry Weir. Terry is a Senior Consultant, Recruitment Advisor, Talent Auditor, Team Workshop Facilitator, Certified Analyst in Workplace Behavior, Aptitude, Emotional Intelligence, Leadership Potential, and Team Performance. Terry provides some great insight and advice on gender diversity on senior leadership teams. Find more great content from Terry on LinkedIn. A link to his page and website can be found in the episode notes. My name is Terry Weir, and you're listening to Hacking Your Leadership's Two Minute Tips. When considering gender diversity in senior leadership teams, there have been plenty of studies that have clearly proven that organizations with gender diverse senior leadership teams outperform organizations who lack them. One would think that this alone would be more than sufficient motivation for any organization whose senior leaders are predominantly male to acquire that same level of gender diversity in the organizations who are outperforming them. So why does this problem still persist? This is why addressing unconscious bias in both recruitment and succession planning is so critical. The traits that, when one possesses them in certain measure, lead to optimal performance in senior leadership roles are not only already known, but the levels of these traits in top performing senior leaders of either gender are the same. However, when men and women display these very same traits, they are often perceived differently and more favorably when men display them, and less so when women do. It is this unconscious bias, this internal error in judgment, that has made gender diversity in senior leadership roles such an elusive goal, and the primary reason why the overwhelming majority of organizations continue to be led to this day by mostly men. To learn about how to address unconscious bias in recruitment and succession planning, connect with me on LinkedIn, or go to www.thomas.co to learn about what tools to use and how best to implement them in your organization.